Hello everyone, it's Jin Teacher coming to you again from Reading Town. It's good to see you. Today's article is entitled, The Vaquita is Facing Extinction. So we're going to find out more about what a vaquita is. A vaquita is actually an animal and it's very similar to a dolphin but much smaller. Uh, so it's kind of like a whale with teeth. Uh, that's the big definition of a vaquita but we'll, we'll see that it's more closer, it's much closer to an actual dolphin. Okay, so it says the vaquita, a type of porpoise with the nickname the panda of the sea, is facing the danger of extinction. So a uh, vaquita is a type, it's a name of an animal, and the group of animal is a porpoise. And a porpoise is a larger group where it's like a toothed whale. Okay, so and it has a nickname, the vaquita has a nickname, and it's called the panda of the sea. So we know what a panda is. Panda is that uh, very cute black and white colored bear and it's the panda of the sea and it's facing danger of extinction and extinction means uh, no longer living on earth, right? So there have been some animals that have all uh, died off and now we cannot find them on the earth and this new animal uh, has been added to the list of uh, endangered species. So two decades ago, a decade is 10 years ago, so two decades ago means 20 years ago. So two decades ago, around 600 vaquitas were found in Mexico's Gulf of California. So only 20 years ago, there were 600 of these animals in uh, Mexico's Gulf of California. In six years, nearly 90% of the species has disappeared. So after six years, 90% of 600 of these animals, they have disappeared, they're gone. Currently, fewer than 30 remain on Earth and it has become the world's rarest animal. So one of the world's rarest, meaning hardest to see, very uncommon. And now the vaquita, there's less than 30 of them in the entire world. So they're very hard to see. The World Wildlife Fund, the WWF, a conservation group pointed out the use of gill nuts and illegal trafficking as the main reasons behind the dramatic decrease in the vaquita population. So this very important group, the World Wildlife Fund, this is a group that tries to protect animals all over the world. A conservation group, conservation means it, they're saving. So we see conservation when we say conservation of energy, meaning saving energy and conservation of animals or the environment, meaning saving animals and environment. So it's a group that saves animals, pointed out that the use of gill nets and illegal trafficking are the main reasons. So why are all of these uh, porpoises, why are all these vaquitas disappearing from the earth? It's because of uh, gill nets, the use of gill nets. The gill nets are a very large net that traps a lot of fish. So a lot of fishing companies are using these large nets across the ocean and they're catching a lot of these animals. And also illegal trafficking. Illegal means against the law and there's something that they should not do. It's a crime and trafficking means that people are sending them or trading them, these animals and living things. So because of these two main things, we're seeing the population of animals like the vaquita drop uh, tremendously. Or it says here, uh, in a dramatic decrease. Dramatic means we can see it, a large, a very noticeable, and decrease means drop. So we see the population of the vaquita dropping dramatically because of these two main reasons gill nets and illegal trafficking. So it says here, gill nets which farm the vaquita in massive quantities have been singled out as the greatest threat to the marine mammals. So marine means ocean and mammals are warm-blooded animals. So uh, because of these two things that people are using, uh, the gill nets as well as illegal trafficking, but they said that the gill nets are the number one cause and they have been singled out so they have been pointed as the number one reason why uh, these marine animals are now endangered. The last paragraph says, Chris G, the head of the UK WWF campaigns group, campaigns group said, to prevent its extinction, a permanent gillnet ban is urgently needed together with the development of fishing alternatives. So Chris G, he is in charge of the United Kingdom's World Wildlife Fund and he campaigns and he says, campaigns meaning he's trying to spread the news, he's letting everybody know, as many people know, to prevent its extinction, so prevent means to stop, to stop the vaquita's extinction, a permanent gillnet ban is urgently needed. Permanently means forever, right, for a long time. 
and they're saying that we need to ban or stop uh, the use of gillnet urgent uh, for permanently and they need to do it urgently urgently means it's very it's like an emergency you need to do it right away so they need to as soon as possible make a law saying that gill nets should no longer be used or ever and that's the only way that we can prevent or stop the extinction of the porpoise of the vaquita uh, he says he also added that enforcing a permanent ban on gill nets could be the only solution so that's the only way to solve this problem by doing so the wwf are encouraging urgent action by the mexican government to save the endangered species before their untimely extinction at the hands of overfishing and bureaucratic incompetence so the last sentence is kind of a mouthful let's take it apart it says that if we force enforce a permanent ban that means if we make sure that people are following it we make the law and we make sure that people are not breaking the law that's enforcing and if we enforce a permanent ban meaning that they're not allowed to forever uh, the use of gill nets that could be the only way to solve the problem and we need to constantly share this news we need to encourage an urgent action meaning that we must say something needs to be done right away and if they don't do it especially the mexican government because that's where the area uh, that's where the area where the vaquita live if they do not do something about this right away then the untimely extinction so that means the unfortunate all of a sudden extinction of the vaquita that's going to be due to bureaucratic, uh, bureaucratic incompetence. So bureaucratic meaning uh, how a country or a government or a group is run. So they're saying that it's because of the incompetence or the failure of uh, the overfishing of the hands of the Mexican government. So they're saying that if you don't do this right away, if you don't get rid of uh, the gill nets, if you don't get rid of uh, the trafficking, uh, then because of this, it's going to be your fault, your government's fault, that this beautiful animal is no longer alive in the planet. So this is a very uh, eye-opening article that tells us about another endangered species and another group of people who are working so hard to try to spread the news and solve this problem because pretty soon if we don't do anything about it, these animals will be extinct. Uh, so very sad, but at the same time, very important news uh, that you can also share with your friends. So let's take a look at the comprehension questions for today. Uh, the first part, uh, as you look at the picture, it looks like a dolphin, but that's actually a vaquita. Like I said, it looks very close to a dolphin. It says, what is the nickname of the vaquita? So the vaquita was given a nickname because it's kind of like another animal, but then of the sea. Do you remember what it was compared to? The answer is the panda of the sea. So I guess it's kind of cute. It's a little bit uh, plump, like round. Uh, so maybe that's why they've gotten the nickname. And the next one, uh, where were the vaquitas found two decades ago? So where were we able to find them? Around what area? And as you think about today's passage, it says around the country of Mexico in the Gulf of California. Okay, so it's in the southwest part of America. And that's where they used to be found in great numbers. Uh, according to the WWF, what are the main reasons behind the dramatic decrease in the vaquita population. So why is it that uh, the number of vaquitas have gone down so much? And we talked about two main things, and one of them we talked about it extensively, or we talked about it a lot. And those two reasons, if you remember, are the use of gill nets and illegal trafficking. So once again, gill nets are those large nets that these fishermen spread out throughout the ocean and catch a great number of fish. And illegal trafficking means that they're trading um, these living animals illegally or against the law, okay? So let's look at the last part of our article today and fill in the blanks correctly. It says, in six years, nearly 90% of the species has blank. So over six years, in the course of six years, what happened? 90% of the species has gone up or gone down. And we said in the passage, they have decreased, meaning they have disappeared, right? We cannot find them for many different reasons, as the article has talked about, the two main reasons. Currently, uh, fewer than 30 remain on Earth, and it has become the world's blank animal. So can we see them a lot? We said that they're very uncommon, and if they're uncommon and they're very hard to see, that's the word that we're looking for today. And if you remember from the passage, the correct word is the rarest, right? So rarest meaning we cannot see them. They're very uncommon, hard to find. And the last question of our article today, it's, 
To prevent its blink, a permanent gill net band is urgently needed. So if we want to prevent or stop its something, a permanent, forever, gill net band or block has to be right asked for. So it's urgently needed. We need it right away. So to prevent its what? To stop its growth? No, we said to prevent its extinction. So before it completely dies off and we can't see it in the world anymore, we need to do something about it. So as you received uh, this information today from uh, today's article, you know that there's this animal, it's a porpoise named the vaquita, and it's very, very uncommon, it's very rare. And unless you and I continue to spread the news and we urge governments like the Mexican government to do something about it, animals like this and many more to follow will become extinct. And our children will not be able to see it and our grandchildren won't either. So you and I have an important job of spreading these news. I hope you learned a lot, but at the same time that you take uh, the responsibility to share this with your friends as well so that we can do something about it and save the animals, the beautiful animals in the world today. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's article and I'll see you again next time. Goodbye, everyone.